Greetings from Spokane, Washington. I'm Carl Barentine. We're celebrating National Moth Week 2020, beginning this evening, the 17th of uh, July. Behind me here is the house, and I'm standing in the yard. We're going to walk up to the house and look at some of the light traps that I have set up. We've been working here in Spokane for the last three years doing an inventory of the moths that we find in our backyard. And so far this season, we've found th th over 380 species of moths. And we have yet uh, another three or four months to go. So it will certainly be a 500 plus moth season for us here in Spokane, as it has been for the last two years. So it's a pretty exciting place to do our mothing. Let's walk up to the house here. Uh, Shelby's holding the flashlight so you can see me. Uh, we live in the south area of Spokane, overlooking the Hangman Hills uh, area, the creek down below uh, called Lataw Creek. And uh, it's a really lovely place, um, primarily ponderosa pine, some dug fir, and a lot of residential plantings. Over here, we have uh, one of our traps. It's a light trap, CFL light, uh, with a Walmart laundry hamper filled with egg trays. And as you can see, uh, a sheet suspended here behind it. And this is one of the places where the moths will come or be lured to over the course of the night. Not many moths here, but in the morning we'll see more. Uh, and I'll open up uh, some of these laundry hampers tomorrow and we'll look at some of the moths that we catch over the night. Let's go upstairs and look at another contraption. We'll learn more about these contraptions uh, over the coming days. I plan to make nine or ten of these just short videos for National Moth Week. Uh, this is another contraption here. This is a uh, bug zapper that has been, we say, defanged uh, with a dog collar inverted into a, a, a laundry hamper filled with with egg trays. And there are a few moths that are around, and there'll be more come morning. Over here, we have a similar sort of arrangement. A CFL light, a laundry hamper, lots of egg trays, and uh, we leave this on all night long. I'll get up early in the morning, probably before six, and uh, and look to see what kinds of moths we have in here. We'll do that tomorrow. Well, that's it for tonight. I've got about six of these little light traps out, um, and we'll check them a couple of them tomorrow, and I'll show you how I've made some of these over the uh, coming few days. So that's our introduction to National Moth Week. Glad you could be with us.